Hello everyone and welcome back to the YouTube channel. My name is Rachel Langston and I'm with MakersGonnaLearn.com, an amazing die cutting community giving you guys endless inspiration, education, and motivation to use your die cutting machine. If you guys would like to see thousands of cut files, hundreds of fonts, amazing printable guides, access to a member only Facebook group, free commercial licensing, amazing resources for Cricut beginners, and much, much more. Click the very first link in the description below to see how you can become a member today. In today's video, guys, we're going to be sharing with you how to seal vinyl on a Starbucks cup. I have done several of these videos all the way from mugs to tumblers to regular cups to glasses to outdoor signs, and overwhelmingly in the comments, I see questions on how do I seal my vinyl that I have on a Starbucks cup. So today I'm going to be able to show and tell you guys how to do that. So we just have a Starbucks here, a Starbucks cup here, excuse me, that we have added a beautiful little ring uh, design on as well as the word bride. I will show this on the B cam so that you guys can see it up close and personal. I will not be showing you guys how to apply this today, but just because some of you guys might be curious as to how we've got this design, I will show Show you the two cut files that we will be using for Makers Gonna Learn and how we got it and manipulated it to fit very well on our Starbucks cup today. The sealer that we'll be using is Minwax Polycrylic. This is a water-based satin finish sealer. You guys can use uh, whatever you want to use, whatever finish you want to use, but we love this product. This water-based, make sure it's water-based, Minwax Polycrylic. We will apply that with a brush, just a very soft bristled brush. And then we also have a little hammer and a um, can opener for our sealer today. Um, so without further ado, let's go ahead and hop into design space and share with you all the amazing design that this is. And quick before we hop over, I just wanted to share with you all this design. I whip this together in two minutes right before this video and I think it is so adorable. I just looked on Pinterest and got some inspiration here and we used one of our ring cut files for Makers to Learn along with one of our cut files that say bride in order to make this adorable little uh, Starbucks cup here. So now we'll head on in design space and I'll show you how we put all this together. All right, first things first, we wanted to measure our actual logo on our Starbucks cup. That was very important for us. And that logo size was 2.125 in decimals. So that is what we added in design space with a circle. So we got a circle here in design space and sized it to 2.125, just like that. And just to make it look a little bit more Starbucksy, we made it green, kind of like the logo. And now here are the two cut files we're gonna be using today. So this one, we actually just want the word bright. So we're gonna go down here to contour and click all of these little contours and hide the contour. Now there are other ways that you could do this if you wanted to, you could slice it out if you would rather slice it out. If this is a little bit hard for you to do, you can slice it whatever you wanna do, uh, but this contour tool is pretty fast for us. And now here you can see bride and our ring, we're actually gonna make our ring a gold color and we're gonna be cutting it on a different mat. So we're just gonna make it brown. And now guys, all you have to do is size it to fit. So we're gonna size this um, down, bring it in here, size it up again, see how we like it, make it just a little bit bigger, just like that. And we know that that will fit really well uh, with our ring. And now we're gonna take this, make it smaller, curve it up and see how pretty this is gonna be. So yeah, so that's going underneath there. So all you have to do when that happens is click Arrange and send to front. And now you can kind of see it right there. And that's all she wrote. The only other thing is with our ring, we just had, we had it uh, curved, angled a little bit on our finished project. But other than that, it is all the same. So now guys, all you will do when you have all that fixed up is take out your green layer or in your layers panel, you can hide it. And then you will click Make It. And both of these will be on different mats for you guys. So we have black vinyl and gold vinyl, and then you'll just click continue and connect to your machine. You will select your material, which will be premium vinyl and go ahead and cut this out. Now guys, again, I'm not gonna show you the weeding or the applying process, but I did not want to leave you guys hanging on how you can accomplish this. So if you need to know how to apply vinyl to a, um, a cup or anything like that, I will have the video link for you all down below if you do not know how to do that. So now we'll go ahead and talk about sealing this. So sealing 
these tumblers. There's a couple things that you need to know. Um, this uh, sealer, along with most clear sealers, need a dry time, a cure time of 28 days. That is how they will be dishwasher and food safe. Now, this particular product right here, we still recommend hand washing for it. Um, we recommend you guys hand wash these even after the cure time. If you want to go the dishwasher safe route, please use dishwasher safe Mod Podge. I will have it linked down below. That is another great product. The only reason why I did not recommend that particular product for this video at the top of my list is because it's really, really thick and it would take some of the, um, integrity away from your gold vinyl here and from your cup itself. We want it to kind of keep its color and not have too many brush strokes or anything like that. So that is why we're going to be using Minwax Polycrylic. Uh, so all you have to do is open it up. And for your actual cups, we recommend you guys to take the lids off of them. So we'll set that to the side and take this lid off. And since this will be food safe, you can get it up around the rim where you will be drinking. That's not a problem at all. So what I recommend is to actually put your hand in the cup. It makes it easier. And you'll just get some on your brush like that and start where your decal is. You're just gonna go around your decal and you'll see some little bubbles. Don't even worry about those. Those are totally fine. They will uh, work themselves out as they're drying. This will dry pretty clear with minimal brush strokes and that is why I recommended it for this project today. Um, so just continue this around. Now some people will only do around the decal. However, I will do the entire cup. I will move this around with my hands and do the whole cup and make sure that it's pretty uh, pretty seamless there. So this is, this is all you have to do, guys. If you would like to do several coats, you can. I recommend two to three light coats for this. You'll need to let this dry though for a, um, Depending on your coats, I hate answering this particular question because uh, depending on if you have a thick coat, you might need to let it let the first coat dry for two hours or three hours. Whereas if you did a super thin coat, you might only need to let it dry for uh, you know 45 minutes or an hour before you do that other coat. Now I'm just going through the rim and the bottom, making sure it's all applied really well. And now I'm going to come and give a little bit more love to the decal just go around there with a really light hand on that brush and now once that is done guys you're just going to set this to the side you can set it on the table set it on a piece of cardstock something like that and allow it to dry you can see how it's going to look it's going to look beautiful and once it's dry guys all you have to do is add two three coats however many you want and you're good to go just make sure you allow this to cure for the full 28 days for it to be food safe um, again, please still hand wash this. And I know that you guys are thinking, wow, that is a really long cure time for something like this. But guys, per the FDA, if you want this to be food safe, if you want it to um, be able to seal this pretty permanently, you're gonna have to be patient with that cure time. That's just the way it works. Um, because no vinyl is technically permanent, you don't wanna risk um, not sealing this if you don't want to. Now, if you don't want to seal it and you want to this to peel up eventually, or if you want to be able to peel it up and add something else on your Starbucks cup, that's totally fine. But if you want to uh, keep this on here forever, I highly suggest to seal that. And I get a lot of questions on, can I put this in the microwave with hot coffee in it or things like that? I would not recommend that either. You can put hot drinks in it and cold drinks, but I think these cups in particular are not meant for hot drinks. I'm pretty sure these are these, this plastic is just meant for cold drinks, uh, which is what I would recommend you putting mostly in the cup, but it can withstand the heat. And as you can see, guys, most of those brush strokes have already went away and it's just this beautiful glossy finish, which will dry satin. It won't be like, perfectly glossy. So once you have applied all those coats, you can just allow it to cure and then enjoy. Wow, that was a really fun and easy tutorial for you guys. I hope that I finally answered your all's questions and that we can put this one to rest on what I would recommend to seal plastic Starbucks cups. I love these cups. Me and Becca tend to make coffee or chai tea lattes or you know things like that every day. And Tanner bought us some of these and we use these 
every day. We love these. So why not personalize them and be able to keep them forever? By sealing it, you do extend the life of them tenfold rather than just leaving the vinyl on there and hand washing and putting in the dishwasher. So really guys, to each their own, if you want to seal this, feel free. If you don't want to seal this, it's okay. This is just what I recommend if you do choose to seal this. Two or three coats and you will be good to go for years and years of crafty fun with this amazing plastic Starbucks cup. I hope that you all did learn a lot. As always, Always, guys give this video a like and leave us a comment if you have any questions or concerns go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already to the channel to see more amazing videos like this and as always click that bell to make sure that you get notified about it thanks so much for watching guys click the very first link in the description below to see how you can become a member of makers gonna learn and get cut files like these and thousands more thanks for watching guys I'll see you in the next video bye